guys, I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how I contour these collarbones right here. I know kind of weird, but off the shoulder tops now are so popular and I like am loving this one that I got from Nordstrom. This is like just BP section 30 bucks or something, 34. I wear it all the time. I'm like obsessed and there's just something about like showing your shoulders and stuff that I find like so sexy but like you're not you don't have to show like your boobs or your stomach or anything like that and like I I do not have like a great stomach so it's like awesome that these sh tops are like flowy but they still make me feel good about myself so anyways I've been really loving that and one of the things that I like is to highlight my collarbones um so normally my collarbones don't stick out that prominently so if you have that I'm so jealous um uh, but I'm gonna show you how I just contour them like this so you can see them a little bit more so you'll see as I start what they look like and they're like non-existent so you'll see how I do it and how I make them pop so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already and let's get on with it let's get started so as you can see my collarbones right now are right here but like they're like not existent and I look like I'm just like a big blob of nothing right here and I don't like it like I want them to be more prominent so the first thing I want to do is bring tanner down into my chest I'm going to take this brush right here and this is my morphe e1 and I'm going to take my favorite bronzer that I like that is a little bit darker and that is this one right here and this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in medium deep so a little bit darker than what I put on my face so for that I'm just literally going to put it all over my chest I usually do this a lot actually um, because sometimes I feel like tanner doesn't stick on my chest so get it to the color that you want <laughs> okay. once that's done I then go in with my shade light palette from Kat Von D only because this shade in here this dark shade is like the darkest that I have in my whole uh, collection so just grab a really dark bronzer I'm also going to use my NARS Eda you don't need to use the NARS Eda you could use um, I don't even know you could just use like a dome brush like something like this you could use um, this, a contour brush, something like this, anything. Honestly, anything that you have will work. So I'm going to dip it into that dark shade. And I'm going to stick my my bone out. So um, this bone is a lot better than this bone. I like this bone better. But anyways, so I'm going to stick it out as much as I can so I can see it. And then I'm going to shade literally right under it. At first you're going to be like, this is crazy and I look like a crazy person, but honestly you won't and it'll look really nice in the end. So, and then I'm going to do the same thing above it and I kind of, it kind of has this hollowness right here. So I'm just going to stick it right kind of in there and into that hollowness. Okay. And then you want to take is really sorry. Oh, I don't want to flash you. You really want to do as much as you you want until it starts looking a little bit crazy, and then you can blend it out. Um, I like to just do downward strokes like this to kind of blend it out. That see, oh, we are popping. See the difference between just right now, just this one and this one. Oh, like it gives me life. Like I don't even know why, but I just like love collarbones. I think they are so pretty. Okay. Okay. So I just leave it like that for right now and I'll move on to the next one. This one, like I said, is not very prominent. So we kind of have to just work with what we got here. So It's like weird shaped. It's like not normal. Then up here. Just kind of fade it up. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. We are moving and grooving. Okay. So if it's where you kind of want it to be, I like to go in with like a flatter kind of brush. And this brush I usually use for foundation. This is the Morphe E31. And I like to go in and kind of just smooth all this out so we don't look like crazy 
um, or anything like that. We don't want to look like we have too dark spots on our collarbone, you know? So I'm just blending it out, making sure that everything is good to go, especially the sides. So yeah, there we go. And then I like to go in and add a little bit of brightness. So I literally will take this shade, but any light shade that you use to like set your under eye or anything that has like a light tint will do great. And I like to just really rub my finger in it and then dab it on top of the bones, like right here. Um, you could totally add a shimmer um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I think the shimmer just is a little too excessive, if you ask me. <laughs> like, like this isn't excessive. <laughs> like, what? Like, contouring your collarbones, okay. Sure, Amy. Okay, and then I like to kind of just make sure that everything's good. And that, I, that everything is blended. And if I need a little bit more bronzer in some places... So like under here, <laughs> that is it. So now I have collarbones and they are looking beautiful and um, yeah, they're just more prominent. So that is how I contour my collarbones. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.